Alrighty, folks. So we're down to the last three steps of building your wiki box. So hopefully uh, your box looks something like this currently. And so we will need this. Uh, we're going to be working on this side. And we will need. Step 12, uh, we've got this last corner block. Uh, well, it's the last big corner block. There's two corner blocks left over at this point. One we'll use later, uh, so keep that aside. So the big one, we need that. Uh, we will need this side plate. So it's the one without the big holes in it. Uh, so this is the other side plate, don't use this one for this step. And we'll need the front, front panel. Uh, the way that you can tell the front panel uh, from the uh, top panel is it doesn't have the venting on it. As you can guess, there is a specific orientation. Uh, you'll see on the side panel, there should just be one notch on the side. Uh, that notch actually fits this, this notch on the bottom chassis. So that's probably the easiest way to figure out which way is up. Um, now, the other thing that you'll see is you've got square holes here, you've got a locating tab here that you have to be sure it fits in there. And then these corner block pieces are located with features as well. So probably the easiest way to get started is locate the tab, locate the feature, and get a couple of screws into it. But I would do it kind of loosely until you get all the screws in place. Because when you get everything in place, uh, you generally will have a little bit of play in the whole thing. So you need to kind of get everything in, settled in, and then 
and that's it. Again, with any of these stuff over type on, it's quite easy to uh, in the panels. Here, I'm oversell us. Going back and make uh, sure the feet are all the way in. This corner piece, try to try to hold it in place so that it's nice and square as possible. Be sure to hold it up against the top material. Taps locate in the one, two, three, so there's locating features on all three of these.
extra in the locating features or pop in. And you can go back in and maybe tighten these down a little bit. Side material is a little bit thick, so our screws are quite in the way that they should in these parts. So you might be swapping these out with uh, slightly longer screws uh, for this part. And if you see that your assembly is a little bit off balance, you might back out your screw and push the corner down. So all I'm doing is uh, Adjusting the angle, kind of setting the screw in a little bit higher in the channel that it can feed into. This just allows for kind of a little bit of flexibility in the way everything goes together. fit there's two kind of U-shaped features and the rods just slide straight through there. Now what you're going to want to do is make sure that these tips go in between the two rods. These support the end of the supports here. So next step be This is definitely not in the instruction manual. Next step that I would do, just while you're here, is push the tips in until they engage the two rods, and then use the clip. To make sure that they're gonna stay in place. So I give it maybe like a half a millimeter of play back and forth, uh, and that will keep this really locked in place. Now, next step will be to put the front panel in like this. So it'll go here. There is a located feature, feature here, and then you've got just screws. And then there's a tab here, and down in the middle at the bottom. I'm just going to throw it on this bag. This now.
get everything located properly. And go back in and get them carefully. This corner one. Again, uh, you might want to be careful about making sure this stays down. And don't over tighten those. Make sure that everything is firm. Okay, so that is it for this uh, this one. So what we've done is we put these two guide rods in, we put the side panel in after or before we put the guide rods in. Uh, we put this corner block that connects the top panel and the two side panels. Uh, and then the front panel locks in the guide rods. Now, um, when you put the guide rods in, make sure that the two rollers go in between the rods. And then push them out until the faces, basically until the rollers are touching guide rods and then move, release, basically unscrew this a little bit, scoot the clip down until there's about a half a millimeter between the roller and the face of the box.